pre-made. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. For some Naya Feather, we got myself, we got Hawkeye, right there, that's Hawkeye, and we have Boot to the Head hey -o. on all of the platforms. When was the last time you streamed? Uh, it's been a while, it, like, this past assignment working night shift, Yeah. And oh yeah. it just, it's been terrible, But so it's been a minute. But you're heading home, so you get to start streaming yeah, again. Yeah, finally. Um, but yeah, he's a good friend, he's p passing through, so he's on the stream today. Uh, if you were just watching the Sultai Arkbo video, you might have noticed that just cut off very abruptly during game two. At the end, our the computer decided to crash. Couldn't handle the floods. You know, learned that ele electronics and floods, water, that just don't mix. And our deck was flooding out quite a bit, um, and the computer couldn't handle it, it, and so it crashed. But we're back at it. Here we go. Naya Feather. So this is pretty normal feather type stuff. Season of Growth is a, is a card that every time I play against the the feather deck and they have Season of Growth, I'm just like, well, I can't win. Like I just can't possibly win. I can't. <laughs> too good in this deck. I, yeah, I can't. I can't possibly outgrind this card because the decks that I'm playing aren't usually like that aggressive or anything and trying to kill all of their creatures and it just doesn't work. Um, I don't think I've really seen Thorn Lieutenant in this deck. This card is very good against three mana Teferi. Uh, you know, if you want to bounce it, you still get the 1-1 one, one to kill the Teferi. So it's really good there. And it's just pretty good against red also. If they want to use their burn spell, you get your 1-1. One, one. Um, good roadblock. I haven't really used that card too much. Um, love the Domery's Ambushes. Love this card. Uh, it works uh, amazingly with Dreadhorde Arcanist, of course, being able to just pump this thing up, recast it. And then obviously with Feather also. Love me some Domery's Ambush. But yeah, let's go ahead and, and give this a try. Uh, as you can tell, we just got our 13 green sources, so not too many green. So that could be something that we struggle with, with getting the green sources. I like having Blood Suns over here. like that quite a bit. I really like Gideon for the control matchups. Deafening Clarion is awesome also. There's a lot of good cards in this deck. It's I've kind of found it like the, the times that your mana works we're going to be usually be pretty successful whenever our, our mana works. And like you know we have a good amount of lands and we can cast all of our spells and everything we'll see how much how uh, much that actually works but here we go so donation decks we're going gonna go through play a league see if we can get five wins before two losses what's up hawkeye i like how he just sits <laughs> yeah he's just hanging out all right here we go what is? Is there a new one? No. Yeah, this is going to be the last deck of the day, so it'll be a little bit of an early day today, especially with that last league cutting off. So we'll have an early day today, but I'll be streaming normal time the rest of the weekend and everything. Um... But yeah, with, with with boot stopping in here for just a minute, we're gonna do an earlier stream. <laughs> I have. I mean, I could shock in so I could pump the scorch spitter so I can take more damage. That's probably not the best idea though. So our Clarions are going to be real good in the sideboard. And I, I want to go with Lieutenant here. Oh, is it a Cavalcade deck? Looks yeah. Like so if they want to bolt Lieutenant, we still get the 1-1 to block these other 1-1s. I think that's exactly what they're doing. Oh. Spitfire. Hmm. I think we're going to have to ambush that Spitfire. Yeah. I think we're gonna have a choice. If I drop a cavalcade, that thing just kills you outright. Chomp. Uh, will I be around tomorrow? No, I am leaving first thing in the morning. I've got a seven hour drive back home to Atlanta. Uh, if I were to stay another day, the wife would probably murder me.
Hmm. Ooh, that's a good draw. Yeah. I think you just kind of want to get on the board right now. I mean, they only have one card in hand. Yep, just got a decent block in. The Dodger can just be unblockable the rest of the game if they want. Can we draw... Something. Yeah, like Reckless Rage well, or whatever. Reckless Rage, thank you. It's like that one card that does the damage. Oh, there's not activating 10th Street Dodger? What? Okay, that's a free block. Well, I don't know if they know how that card works. I think they might have missed. Yeah, they just or thought there was a, a pause in between. Huh, okay. You got it. So it looks like we're stabilizing. No Cavalcade. Pretty good for us. Oh, hey, there it is. I think that's still just a card to keep to kill the war boss, even. I, I agree. Especially you can season the growth and reckless rage. That's so good. Yeah. More removal. Uh, how long have I known you? Uh, like three years, probably. Probably that, plus more, yeah. I think just just over three years. Yeah, probably about three years. Basically as long as I've been streaming. Right, because um, cause that's where we met was through streaming. Yeah. All right, Clarions, yes. Ooh, Healing Grace is really good. Do do I play Cindervine just to take out Cavalcade? Yeah, take out Cavalcade. I mean, it's a three mana board, it doesn't really matter, does it? Living Twisters have to be good. Like this has to be a matchup for Living Twister. I feel that's correct. I just can't. I can't really play more three drops. So got to get rid of those. Yeah. Vanguard is definitely gone. Season like honestly, this may not be a season of growth matchup. Okay, it's Cinder, Cinder Vines was basically for Nexus only. Gotcha. Is that Healing Grace? Oh, what? yeah. Healing Grace, dude. What? Rebuy this with Feather. That You're just going to so keep good. on. Yeah. It's just broken. All right, what's the last card I'm taking out? Hmm. Maybe I don't play four Living Twisters. Just three, you think? Yeah, it's a lot of threes. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm taking out the Season of Growth in this matchup. I think it's just a little slow. Um, feel like we need to be, you know, playing to the battlefield immediately. Yeah, the Spitfire is the card that I'm really worried about. Yeah. yeah it, it can literally just end you. Yeah, and 3 mana Chandra is really rough, too. But then, of course, their best card is Cavalcade. So, yeah, there's there's some tough stuff. I'd really like to draw one more creature here. We're going to play another uh, creature. would be the best. Yeah, Thorn Lieutenant would be nice. Just because it can kind of sort of protect itself. Yeah. Hmm. A second Feather would I, be nice. I, We're going to play one Feather. Yeah, and I was going to say, I don't think we can play Feather on three. Uh, yikes. No hasty. Yeah. I think you have to wait. I could just define strike it now, then they don't get the trigger here. <laughs> but actually, <laughs> it's actually, it doesn't matter which way I do it. Taking three either yeah, way. Yeah, we definitely need a creature here that's not feather. Yay, no hey, antenna. perfect. Just literal perfect. Do I have a, do I have a red white land that I get to hold up so I can have so Reckless Rage? have a Chandra or a Spitfire that can't do both? Is that a Spitfire? No, Scampering Scorcher. Oh, Scampering. Okay, so they're not. Which, that's a real problem, because that, that's yeah. a lot of damage. So they can't play both, so at least 
That's cavalcade something. is the thing dealing the damage, so healing grace does get to prevent the cavalcade damage. Hmm. I think we're gonna just draw. We're gonna shock this thing, and then we're going to draw. You want to shock the thing that gave everything haste? Wouldn't that have been better? I don't know. This thing just like <laughs> that thing just like also triggers. Well, I mean, if they didn't have haste, that's true. These things wouldn't attack. We'll get it. Draw white mana. So good. But we got a shock like, you for know, it. Uh, okay. That's worth it though. Because now we have online feather. Yeah, feather with healing grace. That's so dumb. Okay, all right. Thanks, Ken. Thanks for the heads up there. So we got to be careful Not for healing intuitive. grace. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to prevent the next three targeted creature. Okay. That would be dealt to any target. target. So yeah, we're we're preventing okay. the damage to this, and then choose a source of the lava coil. Excellent. Huzzah! Hey, look, we're back up. Anyone one. need a fire yep. started? No. Hey, look, we're back down to seven. To fiery friends. <laughs> uh, they're almost out of cards, though. How can, we, how can we tell which one's the... Okay, these have haste, so these are the ones that stick around. Yeah, easy. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Ambush. Chomp. Ugh. Training is so hard. I know, right? And we still have Reckless Rage and Healing Grace up. Oh, so good! Uh, so when you moused over it, Radical Guru, they say the word haste on them. Yeah. You just mouse over it. I wish I would have tapped wait, that wait, better. Wait, before, before, yeah, before they go to their end step, make sure you cast that thing. Okay, now I, I just feel wish like... I would have auto tapped that better. Yeah. Uh, question. Wait, wait. Oh, I was gonna say, can't you just? Oh. Thought you were gonna do both. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, just do it. <laughs> I saw you going real fast. I was like, no, stop. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Doing some life gain. No, yeah, I wasn't gonna kill the Thorn Lieutenant. Okay. Whew. Man, you he... had me going there in the first half. Man, healing grace with. Healing Grace, or Healing Salve? No, Healing Grace. Whatever, that card with Feather, that's pretty broken. I like it. I'm a fan. That's so broken. Poor Red Deck. Just never stands, it doesn't stand a chance. Is that card rotating out? The Healing Grace card? I don't know. Or is that going to be legal for Red Deck's next format? Hold on, I'm looking at them now. It is rotating out. It's, oh, no. It's Dominaria, according to oh, then yeah. the chat Ooh. of the Twitch. This already over. Hmm. Maybe. Was it corrupted? I don't know. Maybe yeah. Maybe that video was corrupted. Maybe it doesn't get to actually upload. Uh, I will keep my hand. Looks like the YouTube video f upload failed. Try process it again. All right, just retry it. Yeah. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, because I mean, it, it went all the way with this upload last time, so we'll we'll see. Instead of feather, it's Heather. <laughs> hey QQ, what is up? Breeding pool. All right, so whenever our creatures enter, we get to scry. Whenever we cast our spells, the target stuff. What Bant hero? Is that what's happening here? Uh, Looks like it. Well, it's just dead, so. 
Ooh, Arcanist. Scry. I mean, I do need another White Source. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it. Because, you know, like like Feather, we need multiple White Sources and everything. Um, I believe the term is, we're doing it. We are doing it. Well, that's just cheeky. Scry. Yes, I'd like to oh, keep that. Thank you. Star. That's just a cheeky play. Ooh. Ooh. Johnny's pretty good. I like what's going on there. We could be much greater together. Okay. Now, do you see the benefits of peace? Get that scry double draw. Look at all these lands that were just bottoming. Oh, ambush, that's perfect. Just chomped a Nunjani, okay. I would like more ambushes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I will return. You thought you were safe, cat dude. <laughs> cat dude? <laughs> <laughs> This deck is so messed up. So good. Uh, yeah, why not? Willy. Oh, gross. Just like when Season of Growth is doing its thing, it's just like, how do you beat this? You can't. Just dead. Especially now that you have double God's Willing, yeah, this, our opponent is just not going to survive. Plus, you have another Dommy's Ambush. Like, oh, here we go, the blowout. Just let him do it. No, I mean, no, well, just let him do it. Let him do it. Why? I mean, I can't cast Incense. Oh, okay, then, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, that's a good card. I kind of just want land now. We have infinite cards. So, yeah, okay, that, <laughs> that caused the scoop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because, yeah, they can't bounce either creature, and then we just attack for lethal. All right, well. You're about to end this person's career. <laughs> doesn't look like we really have to sideboard anything. Um, so just Bant Hero? Okay. Yeah. Gideon, Gideon Blackblade's got to be good against Bant Hero. I think Gideon's probably going to be better than Thorn Lieutenant, even though Thorn Lieutenant's not bad, but Gideon's just Because awesome. I thought we had Thorn Lieutenant specifically for the Teferi. Well, it's just a, a it's good against a fairy, but it's also just kind of good against a lot of like a lot of aggro decks. But I think I don't think they're going to be too aggressive. Where I think the Gideon is going to hit harder. Okay. Yeah, Feather is the kind of because yeah, I usually play like Mopey mid range decks that like my opponents playing. I like Mopey mid range decks, so Feather is the kind of deck that I never like facing. You know, it's always like just always hit so hard crushing. and yeah, just such a efficient cheap spells. I wonder if the Feather decks are getting anything as far as updates. Uh, let's see. From the new set? Yeah, the new set, there's a card called Bargin. One red target attacking creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Each attacking non-human creature gains trample. No. Because they have, like, Infuriate they could be playing if they just want a pump spell. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, they get Questing Beast. That card's broken. Blech. Oh. No, actually, they're getting hurt a lot because of this card. Deafening Silence? No one's going to play that. But, I mean, it's literally a hoser against the Feather decks. Yeah. Sideboard card. You know? they, they already have that in standard. There's already the like rule of law or whatever. Where... But do you see it's one mana? Yeah. Still, nobody's going to play it. You say this. <laughs> you say this. <laughs> And okay. No. Hmm. Wow. A lot of lands there, Mr. Stevens. Yeah, just three straight land draws. That's not good.
Daxter33 has subscribed. What's up, Daxter? Thank you so much. Um, yeah, losing Reckless Rage is definitely a, a con. That'll dig us out of the flood. Thank you so much, there, da Daxter. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Here goes nothing. So I don't actually get to... I can't cast a spell with Arcanist with Teferi in play. Teferi is a really good hoser for this deck. You still got a target though, right? Yeah, I'm used to climb. Come on. Yeah, scared Time of a pump spell. B. Even though I can't play instance. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wasn't really expecting it to work, but it did. Wow. Yep, getting crushed. Maybe you should just take out these season of growths if they're just gonna be playing Night of Autumns. Here we go. The well, thing I mean on the play it's not too bad. Yeah. On the draw though, like if they just play Teferi bounce your two turn. Passing. If they go to fairy minus, then we can shock to fairy. <laughs> be a better magic player. Don't draw so many lands. <laughs> oh hey, might be a bad idea. Yeah, they're they're probably digging. You know, like they use a lot of cards from their hand as well. We want to see like. All right, come on, let it happen. No veto, one time. Yeah. I really should have seen that coming. Okay. I want to see something to kill this deputy. The reckless rage would be really good. Yep. Huh? That card's really good. Huh? Yeah, so they're, they're banned hero deck. That you know, happened. like if heroes going wide and then March just can go like real, like even wider. Wow. Okay. Oh god, what if they have another one? Looks like Conclave Tribunal. Nope, just another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> So what if it's just Bant Tokens? What if it's not actually Bant Hero, but just Bant Tokens? Nah, it's definitely Bant Hero. Oh, the multicolored card. Yeah, the, well, they they also they played Hero Precinct 1 game 1, remember? Yeah, but I mean, what if it's just to make tokens? This isn't a fight you can so win. So Hero makes soldiers, March makes soldiers. I'll protect it's not you. great having the same kind of... Creature maker in the face of like with everybody playing Legion's Ends. Tommy's ambush would be pretty decent. Yeah. Oh yeah, ambush would have been really nice. No, Ferocidon is, is legal. It's Ferocidon's been legal for ten days now. Those are all spells in hand. Mm. I gotta say, it's not looking good for the home team. No, but we're up a game. Do we have any removal for Teferi? Uh, aside from Domri's ambush, did we? Board in we do have fries or anything. Doesn't matter. Like no. No, it's pretty much uh, beat the face. That's a, that's our game plan. That's why Gideon. That's why Gideon's so good. Gideon doesn't get bounced. All right, so game three, we're going to draw less lands, more feathers. Hmm. 
Well, sheltering white doesn't matter. My opponent doesn't kill stuff. No. But we don't need that card. So we could play like a Thorn Lieutenant. I like the Thorn Lieutenant idea. Okay. Living Twister kind of helps with Flood and kind yeah. of like shocks down. Yeah, with our 23 land deck, like we're probably not keeping a four lander and then drawing land, land, land. <laughs> you say again, that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you say that. It's probably not happening. Clarion's good after March of the Multitudes, but okay, we don't really need to worry about that. The sands are really bad against a fairy. Uh, not if you draw a tenth legion. Ooh, tenth district legionnaire. Yeah, that that. That's a good draw. I like that one. That one. <laughs> yeah, we have two Clarions in the sideboard. Not another feather. That is not what I wanted. No, I only have the two white sources, so <laughs> we're just dropping feather here on three. Even though it just needs bounce. Yeah, even though it could get bounced. Hopefully, no Teferi though. Well, I mean, if they do bounce it, you can at least shock the Teferi. Yeah, the shock was a good draw. And then drop Feather with God's Willing Backup. They always have it. They always have it. Remorse. I'll, I've got time. Ooh. Ooh. Even better. Yeah. It's only Do we shock in to keep talk up? Yeah. Might as well. I don't think the two damage really matters. Might as well. Right until it comes to you and only you. <laughs> hey, <laughs> look at that. As he says, Arena checks your percentage to draw a land and then adds 10%. Nice. Oh, no. Yeah, like, I think they have veto, yep. Okay. But I, I'd rather that get vetoed than God's willing get vetoed. So. Agreed. We do need another white source, though, to be able to have a... Ugh. Let me get another white source. These feather decks, you have to have lots and lots of white. Cause, you know, you need double white for feather plus another white for God's Okay, wreck this so. rage off the top. Let's go. Oh, come on. That can I'm known for not be any worse for type. us. Let's try this. Okay. Well, a little late there. Now I can't cast Simpsons now. <clears throat> I guess we get to do this though. Yep. Still kill the fairy. Yeah. Do we That's... need another one? I mean, with these these keep on going back to our hand. We already got two. Yeah. Okay. Now we don't. We probably don't need another one, right? No. No. Season of growth. No, we took those out, didn't we? No. Did, yeah. Did those we? are still in. Okay. Those are still in. That would be a pretty good way to that dig through. According to plan. Hmm. Okay, we've gone through two Deferis. But we'll finally actually have Feather with God's Willing Protection now. Ooh. Finally. That's a good draw. Too. Oh! Should I have even play that? No. Shouldn't have done that. I mean, if I kill the Deputy, then our Dahmer's Ambush just leaves, though. This way, this way we get to still kill, we can kill the hero. Yeah, I mean, we definitely the, get to kill the hero. Do I want to do that right now, or do I want to hold up God's Willing and just pass and do, do this next turn? I don't have veto mana up right now. Even then, you, you'd use the uh, Legionnaire, right? Yeah, we yeah, it's a good call. We'd use Legionnaire, but let's keep mm -hmm. up God's Willing. Okay. You know, in case of the third Tefiri. <laughs> yeah. Or another deputy or something. Yeah. I'm crazy. Okay, so time to kill stuff. You going for the hero? Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think we care about crisis at the moment. Maybe I should keep keep that one. I mean, you, you have two still. Stop using my white mana deck. Om nom nom. Chomp. Man, look at how many lands you just put straight to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, we have scryed through so many lands. Okay. So many lands and God's Willings. Do we... Yeah, yeah might I as mean, well. why not? <laughs> yeah, just, uh... Oh, that's so good. Okay, I like where we're at at the moment. I'm gonna leave the feather back to block. Basically not gonna let them chump with these tokens ever. I love it. It's a great game plan. All right, what do we got? Oh, hey look, the third Teferi. Uh, yeah. I'd still keep that. Actually, do we even really need that? We got ambush. Yeah, because you can do twice. You can do them both. Yeah. You can literally just clear off their board. Sorry, I'm late. I wonder if they're gonna try to bounce their deputy. Yeah, and they could no, do that. No, don't bounce your deputy. Don't do it. I mean, don't do it. Don't do it. No opponent, because you're going to play it again, and it's this. got pro-white. I want to keep the pro-white one. Okay. Don't do it, opponent. Don't do it. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> okay. All right, value knight. Can cat dude save the day for our opponent? I don't think so. Oh, what's, what's cat dude? Cat dude. It's the cat dude we saw earlier. Cat dude? What cat dude? Cat cat dad? Oh, a Johnny? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I mean, we're definitely killing the Teferi. Um, should you just fly over? Do you want to kill How the How many creatures knight? do they have? They only have four? Yeah, I think you just want to kill the knight. What, attack to fairy for three? Yeah. And attack them for a million. Like so They were just gonna kill the knight with a reckless rage. I mean you can do that too. That's or I just I just yeah. kill something else with reckless rage, I guess. Yeah. I mean you just you're literally gonna wipe their board. They, I, they I mean, have no I, defense. I don't even need that. You've got an active feather, double god's wheeling. Yeah, this this game's over. Unless they have like a time wipe, I guess. Then that's kind of a problem, but you know. Oh god, this is gonna hurt. I love it. Engines online. So they are at this is fifteen. We're one short. If we play the gods willing, we'd have sixteen damage. Yeah, I don't wanna overspin there. But so yeah, so we were one one point short. Because God's this willing would have been a, you know, like if we attack with Feather also. So we're one one point short from lethal there. Okay, so they know our whole hand. Let's see what they do. Ugh. That's not going to work. I mean, you can just wreck this rage. Yeah. I or do you, or would you rather God's willing? Probably God's willing, right? In case they have like a another Teferi or some bounce spell or something. Yeah, I'd probably go God's Will in here. Say, so, yeah, yeah. Because you know the fourth Teferi. I don't know why I kept that card on top. Mm. I mean, you'll get another chance to get rid of it. It's fine.
I went pro blue so that I could still target it with another God's Willing if need be. Makes sense. Okay. They, they don't have the, the mana for Tulsimer. You know, like, they, they've had, you know, they could have, like, Baffling End, though, or something, and then that would that would have been annoying. Yeah, I don't even know how anyone beats that. You just have to have a Sweeper. Yeah. Yeah, like, they're... They had like some really good interaction with all those. Oh, we're two now with with Nia Feather. Oh, I didn't nice. update our deck. I didn't update our win total. We're two now. Hey yo. <laughs> that was pretty sweet though. He changes his mind. <laughs> yeah, Thunder Dan, because because I should have put it on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, so the reason why yeah I just change his mind. Shouldn't That's keep all. on top and then go to the bottom. But I I was just like oh cool Gideon yeah and then I was like. Wait a minute! I don't need Gideon. <laughs> so, You're so far ahead. <laughs> yeah, like Gideon doesn't help, and so we went to the bottom. So yeah, it was just like, you know, exciting card on top, and I was like, wow, that card's great! I'm gonna keep that. But then I was like, wait a minute, we don't, we don't actually need that. Very. You apparently you were playing mind games with your opponent. Yeah. I mean, our hand would be amazing if we had land, but that's, that's why it would be amazing because <laughs> we have six spells. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stomping ground. But that's the bottom. We need all the white we can. Agreed. Kind of feel like our deck could use another white source from what it has. Well, don't need the yeah. Don't need the stomping ground. That's how it's kind of felt as we've played this. I don't know how we'd get another white source in here, but wow, hands looking better. Do you like playing 10th District Legionnaire uh, on turn 2? It depends on what two? we see here. Okay, so Bant. Uh, obviously, that's going to be... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Because here comes the 3 Fury. Yeah, we'll get the Vampire right Soldier. on time. Oh, what? Okay, that thing's so dead. Yep. Yeah, I don't think we need to have... I don't think we really need to have um, God's Willing up. Chomp. Uh, Eaten Face. I like this. How are we getting through Cavalier Thorns? I guess just God's Willing? Uh, yeah, and hopefully a Feather. Yeah, Feather would be nice. Okay, no cavalry this time. Ooh. Old Shannon. Okay. Where's our Defiant Strike? That'd be great. Oh man, Defiant Strike would have been so good. <laughs> wow, Defiant Strike would have been great. So when Eldraine drops, we're going to make a Yurok food deck and call it Sultai Foods. Salty Foods? Nice. It says like a Sultai whole, foods. what about a whole food? Yeah, it does, it just sounds, yeah, sounds, <laughs> sounds like a grocery store. Huh. Good play, good play. <laughs> Stomping time. Blech. Still need to get in there, yeah. Can you race that? I don't know. Vivian's pretty broken. Yeah, I think you need to go towards that. So the sheltering light is indestructible. We're just gonna block with Leafkin. So should you... Could you like pro green? Ugh. Yeah, you should probably... Mm. You did pro green that bumps it up to a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, and then they block with Shalai, and then I have to use another spell, so I have to use both of them. Yay. There you are. Okay. Now we doing it. We got two cards in hand. No, just the one. But yeah, oh, I guess you say two because of the draw stuff? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully another land. 
Well, for one can, of them. They can start pumping. So that makes her effectively a five, six, seven, huh? Okay. Oh, maybe we get lucky and they fight. No, that'd be bad for us if they fight. Why? Or you if they God's deal willing. damage. But then, then I don't have God's willing for feather anymore. Like we need to keep God's willing in hand because we need to play feather first. I mean, if they fight anything but the legionnaire. Well, it's not. It's, it's not really a fight. It's just deal damage. So oh, okay. It's, it's not like oh, it doesn't okay. kill Shalai. It's, it. it's not a fight. All right. It's just like it's like Dahmer's ambush. Nice. Well, hopefully they don't target the legionnaire. Do we just let it go? No. I think we just let it go, honestly. Really? You think so? Yeah. I think we just let it go because Feather with the. Uh, yeah, having, we, we Feather need... having flying and, you know, unblockable. Yeah, we need Feather, God's willing. We they just do. Bite. And they can't attack because we just swarm them. So I guess we're in a good spot. Want to take decent anyway. Uh, do we sack a lieutenant? Are we not going to go in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got to go like in. Yeah. All right, cool. Whatever they block. I, I was down with that. Yeah. Got to kill the DM. Whatever they block with Shalai, we'll just God's willing it. Because I, I don't think they'll have... Like, they may top deck removal, but... Probably not. I think you just let it go. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, I think you just let it go. Keep God's willing. In case they top deck another removal spell. Because right. you got to keep Feather around. Okay. I need to hone my skills. All right, now how do we deal with this Shalai? Uh, you block and God's willing. Cool. Block's willing. Block's willing. Should I have just upkeeped Feather, I guess? Or should I have just upkeeep God's willing, like their upkeep? Uh, I think you can actually take this hit for the for start. For five? Yeah. I think you can take this one hit. Because then you can untap, hopefully draw another spell, and then start casting multiples. Yeah, I think you're fine. Nah. <laughs> They're not gonna have like instant speed blue and green stuff. Get that scry in here. I like how our angel is better than their angel. It's a <laughs> fight between Shannon and Karen. <laughs> just drew a actually land. what's a what's a lady's name that begins with f oh no are you kidding me? i called it i, really... I freaking called it they actually had removal i told you so <laughs> how was i expect the band i told to have you removal? so <laughs> how was i supposed to expect the band tech to have removal <laughs> They're just top deck a removal spell in Bant that wasn't white, a non-white removal spell. <laughs> what are the odds of that? <laughs> I just wanted to, to go on the record. <laughs> All right, Thorn Lieutenant was terrible. Let's get that out of here. A non-white removal spell. I mean, it could have been a, another Vivian, too. Uh, no, just... Vivian wouldn't have worked, because it's the Shalai doing damage. Cause, and Shalai's okay. white, and okay. it's pro-white. So, yeah, cool. I was thinking, like, Vivian didn't work. Like, yeah. And, yeah, like, the Teferi's, like, Teferi wouldn't have worked or anything, <laughs> or Deputy. Like, I can't think of any other possible card that, that would have been played besides that. It's all right, we'll get him back in the, the second half. <laughs> yeah. All right, down a game. Down a game. Okay. Season of Growth can do some work for us. Yeah, I mean, you've got plenty of colors, so we're good to go. To help get through the flood. I don't. I don't know how to restart MTG bot. I don't know what that means. 
Yeah, I don't even know. Okay. Okay. One creature, and yeah. we're good. Just gotta draw a creature. Oh yeah, they're a Risen Reef deck. Target a spell you control? Lame. Alright, 10th District Legionnaire, one time. Oh, God. Huh, so about this. I didn't board out all the creatures, did I? I don't think you did. I just took out two creatures for two creatures. Literally just needed one creature. Yeah, so all we need is one creature. It's all right, it'll we happen. got 18 in here. I it'll happen. Which cannot I feel it. Itself. The land shall conquer you. Right on schedule. Well, their hand is busted. No, I am not making this up as I go. Okay. This is hardly my worst defeat. That's probably why their hand was busted. <laughs> just gonna mark just it. Just gonna mark it. <laughs> Ancestral recall. <laughs> Three mana draw three. So good. And get a one one. Oof, yeah, okay. Literally one creature would have been fantastic there. And taken yep. their entire board. Yeah, we would have drawn so many cards with the mm -hmm. with the I enchantment. Mean, the, like all the, the removal, like they wouldn't even have had a risen reef. No. And would not have drawn all those cards and just you know. And plus you had double I did. Raise ambush for the Nizza. Like. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks, Nero. Todd the Nile Rivers. It's because of the flood. Dude, we have been flooding so hard today. Uh, I mean, it is raining outside. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, it, it again, YouTube said that it was corrupted file, basically. Okay. Well, tilt. Well, that's too bad. Hello. Want wanted scoundrels. What is going on here? I think we just arcanist. Set up for the ambush. Alright, I'm fine with that. I want to play Season of Growth, but I guess that is a four power creature over here. Yeah. Yeah, because you can just ambush it. <laughs> yeah. But rooting for the opponent here, not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, one scoundrel is pretty cool. Look at those scoundrels. Look how scoundrelly they are. They look like decent fellows. Hey, trust me. The reward's not worth it. <laughs> is that what it says? <laughs> that's, oh, that's I love the it. Quote. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the flavor text. They look like stand-up people. So we need to kill this one of scoundrels so we get two treasures. That's the goal. Okay. I feel like that could be achieved. Oh yeah, they could have triple yeah, they could have triple drill bit. No, I don't even. <laughs> or triple scoundrels. Ugh, we could have got a land. Okay, so we can't kill both. No. Well, yeah. Mm, yeah, I guess we can. Can we? Yeah. Um, yeah, you kill the the one that has. Can I get? There we go. Kill the one on the left that has no damage on it. Yeah, I just want to do this before they block. Oh, I agree. 
Then we get the treasures. This is so good! And you still have to find strike two. Or no, you should, no, you should keep that. Look at all this value. So much, so many treasures. I feel like uh, this scene is Todd walking into like the Wild West bar, you know, creaking with his boots and his spurs, <laughs> clanking. My, my cowboy hat on. I'm here to clean up this town. <laughs> <laughs> So many scoundrels out here. That is a beefy Arcanist. And now Season of Growth is going to draw us a lot of cards. <laughs> the Value Town Barn. <laughs> <laughs> Hawkeye the Cat, Hank. <laughs> Hank. Hank the Cat, Hawkeye. <laughs> What's up, Ask? Thank you so much for that support. Oh my god, they have another! <laughs> One in Scoundrels Tribal. Pass. Let's draw some cards. We're gonna hit land drops. Hey, there we go. Yeah, I felt pretty good about hitting land drops. Oh, wow. Uh, stuff is happening. This is so wrong. Quit bullying him. Chomp. Oh, there's a... Oh, oh my god. You just gonna do it? Okay. Yeah. We don't really have a protection thing anyway. We can put Defiance Strike back into our hand now. Yeah, sure. I think you... Yeah, keep that. Why not? Oh my goodness gracious. Stuff is happening. Alright, draw a card. Draw a card. Turns out when you get all that extra mana, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. What mana screw, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that free six mana. <gasps> oh. Walked the pl a flying creature. Yeah. We're going to push this flying creature off the plank. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. We're going to have to just go to discard anyway. Yeah, I, I, I like can the uh, the opponents. Like, I guess it's an aggressive. Shock. Yeah, you can do that. What a shock! I'll just keep the other card in the graveyard, I guess. I'm curious to see what else the opponent has. All right, what else they got? I feel like they're just getting mana screwed. Yeah. Having Swamp, Swamp, Swamp. That's unfortunate. What if they went land Ritual of Soot, and then I don't have anything? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Why would they have Ritual of Soot in and their And they're one it's kind of I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to give you treasures. They wouldn't have that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. So it's probably like a mono black aggro deck. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. Um, maybe Deafening Clarion? Ooh, okay. I'll Clarion my wayward son. Ha! B+. Plus. We'll play one of those. I'll just take out the Vanguards against the aggro deck. Aggro, maybe, deck. Peru Muchacho. Doesn't that translate to, like, dog friend, dog person? Mm. I think it's dog person. Dog person? Yeah, I think that translates to dog person. Jaya Ballard doesn't really look like a dog person. Maybe she Maybe is. Maybe like a hellhound. <laughs> dog dude. Okay, that's a dog dude. Yeah. Dog dude. Thank you. Okay. Booty for everyone. 
play, yeah, same playing a deck with one of scoundrels and no growth dryads to ramp the opponents. What if you like play those with? Hmm, I can't can't think of any way that there's like a bonus for having your opponent have more lands or have treasures. It's not a way to like actually have that be good for you. Mm -mm. I mean, you can have like. Karn, so they don't get to activate the treasures. So, you know, you don't... So, like, Aha. they get the treasures and it doesn't Next matter. Next leveled. <laughs> oh, balance. Yeah, oh, back, yeah, 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 back in the day, you could have land tax or balance for old, to make old growth dryad not be... A, yeah, to have that be a land benefit. Land tax is a great card, let me tell you, back in the day. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I missed more. my land drop. Yeah. I like to balance more. That card's awesome. Had both of those in the cube deck. Or in the cube. Not not I guess it's not a cube deck, but just in the cube. Yeah, I do artifact decks. Definitely. I've I've played Okay. I've played a, a good amount of artifact decks, Kenpachi. Um I've had like um. Oh no! No, don't. Okay, don't don't leave us, opponent. Doesn't look like they are. So that's good. Uh, I believe you're doing a storm the vault deck next week, aren't you? On Thursday? Maybe, but yeah, I I did an antiquities war deck recently. How'd that um, turn out? Pretty good, pretty good. And yeah, we just done uh, some some you know big Tezzeret decks. It did uh, a Mystic Forge deck. Um. Oh wow, Parappa! You're you are probably as old as I am then. All right. So, question was why did I choose not to add a Living Twister in the sideboard for this matchup? Because black because the black removal spells kill Living Twister easily. The five toughness isn't as necessary there against black removal. That's a Dino. Is it? That's a big old Dino. All right, so how are we beating that thing? Hmm. Spellbreaker Shock. Spellbreaker Shock. All right, how do you plan on doing that? Next turn, after I kill this one of Scoundrels with this thing. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh. Was that any good? Uh, not quite. Okay, yeah. Just gonna defiant strike block. Yeah, get block. some treasures. Yeah, block strike. Get some treasures. Okay. I doubt they attack. I think they're just gonna attack with the red sword. Oh, they had another one. Aw. poor dinos. No, I think my my opponent just said like GG from last game, or I don't know, or just turned forty. I don't. I don't they're they're not saying that their hand is too good. I think it's. Oh, God's willing. Okay. So, can we God's willing and shock? Oh, that's so good. Why does Why does God's willing do anything? Because you can give it pro black. Oh, tilt. Oh, I I already had sheltering light that just gave it indestructible if I wanted. Eh, okay. Fair point. They both scry too, right? Yeah, they both okay, scry one, so yeah, they'd be the same either way here. Uh, yes, I'll be 37 this year. No, 38. I'll be 38 this year. And I'll be 83. Oh! Wait, what? The reverse you. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a problem. Um, not if you Reckless Rage. Okay. All right, we'll do that then. They didn't take the shock? Interesting. Huh. Well, okay. That's... That was a, such a great card for us to draw. We got really lucky drawing that Reckless Rage there. Guess that's <clears> the <throat> game. Because that, that creature was going to get really big. The, dread, the dread Shade. Yeah. So they're like mono-black, beefy creatures. 
they certainly you know hit hard. When yeah. You're down to nine. The hard hitters. Uh, let's see. Has a betrothal party. Oh, uh, not sure. Should I wear Linton black or Linton naughty? And how much should invest of gift? Uh, betrothal party. Is that what? I mind it. Drawing a blank. I don't, I don't know, know what know. culture has a betrothal party. I don't know. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's where you basically um, are betrothed to like families marry off their kids, uh, either for political purposes or uh, whatever have you. Rex says this deck should be called. Our opponent's deck is called Mono Beef. Mono with, Beef with the black for the beef. Oh, drill there's bit. the drill bit. Mm. Sure. Though I don't know what Litten Black means. The shock's gone. Hmm. Did have some shock value, though. Ha! That I'm actually taking Ooh. that card. That's a fun one. Just have infinite Triple gods willing. Gods willing. I should probably like start attacking or something. I feel like you're just bullying them now. I mean, they ha they have a pretty good deck though. I mean, it's fun. It's mono black. They never get color screwed. One scoundrels. It's you know huge creatures. Probably should be casting stuff, right? <laughs> You just gonna do it? That's not a good idea. No. We're at seven. What we need is a feather. Yeah, okay, that was That's ambush. a good one. That that is a good one. I think we can get rid of one of these God's Willings. Okay. Om nom. Chompers. No! Are you kidding me, auto tap? Dad. Well, I mean, you have treasures. You're fine. Ugh. We chomped Mr. Chompers. So I call Rotting Register Mr. Chompers because <laughs> just chomp. eats up chomp blockers all day. Chomp, chomp. GG's opponent. GG's. Three and one. Let's say we're not in final boss yet, six. Though yeah. I like your enthusiasm. Yep. We'll be in the final boss here soon. But not quite yet. We're going to have to first defeat Hunky Dory. Hunky Dory, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Uh, let's see. Can anyone in chat guess how long I've been playing this game? You already know my age, so that should give it away. 28 days. I've been playing 28 days. 28 days later? Are you still playing? Still playing. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so you got 18 years, we've got 5 years, 12 years, 3 weeks. I am but a babe. Um, How about 3 strong? Approximately 4 hours. 10 years, 1 year. If it's not 3 weeks, is it 3 strongs? 3... <laughs> 3 strongs. Uh, 15? No? Okay, so... Uh, 28 years? The game hasn't even been around 28 years. <laughs> 26 years because that's how long the game's been around right 26 uh, yeah, 26 yeah 26 years yeah and uh, that would be correct uh i was i've been playing it since it came out really uh the shop that i visited to play D, &D with my brothers uh the shopkeep got it in and said hey here's a new game looking for some people to play it I said sure teach me and he goes okay 
did the Black Lotus Channel Fireball. I was like, okay, this is a fun game. <laughs> I like it. Do what am I doing? Do I even get to play? <laughs> so that was that was my first. Um, like your first game? Yeah. Just went Black Lotus, add, add green. Yeah, because apparently the, the shopkeeper was like, hey guys, check this out. Pay 20 life. Uh, uh, or, uh. or pay 19 life. Fireball, like, yeah. yeah. This, is a, this game's legit. Deal 20. Why would I spend money on this, Tom? <laughs> Just t <laughs> turn one, deal 20. Ugh. So, yeah. Uh, I have never had... I've never owned a Black Lotus. I've owned the Moxon... Um, Dual lands, stuff like that. I've known people that have owned Mox or the the Black Lotus. Uh, matter of fact, the principal at my school had one on his desk in a glass case this thick. <laughs> on his desk, just uh, good times. You can have glass cases that thick. Well, it was like two pieces with screws uh, in the corners that like sealed it in. Hmm. But yeah, if I had been smart and like kept them but you know back in then we'd be taking our decks to school to play during lunch and whatnot you know they didn't really have sleeves back then we had rubber bands right that, like you just like twist it and keep the it yep. <laughs> oh good times it's like oh someone spilled their juice eh, all right whatever <laughs> Dio 4 says oh it's nexus or our pc is going to crash again Oh no! Like we, you know, we we played against the Golos Nexus. Turn the cards to pull. Yeah. Yeah, the penny sleeves. Uh, I don't think I actually started sleeving my cards till uh, the first Mirrodin. Yeah, I think that was when it. Um, I had started. No, not even Mirrodin. Uh, Torment. Cause that's when I, I started to get like serious and started playing like local tournaments and stuff. Oh man, there's like nothing good in Torment either. No, it was terrible. Uh, Odyssey was great. Uh, I really enjoyed Odyssey. Torment was terrible, and Scourge was meh. Yeah, Scourge was meh. But uh, I had because I, I, I started playing the um, the Madness decks. Yeah, uh, yeah, so. Ma yeah. Odyss Odyssey had all the Madness stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, Blast Zone's really annoying. Last sounds really good. Uh, yes, Storm. That that was the one. So me and my brothers basically we picked up the game and we played it uh, nonstop. Then we started getting friends involved in it, and then our parents got involved in it. My dad, he's he's a great guy. He's goofy though. He built like theme decks like hey this is my my elephant deck and then the, like elephants and things to do with elephants <laughs> man my opponent's drawing so many cards oh i tell All you these one thing. insights one story i remember my dad apparently went to the shop one day and came back yeah. with a deck and he's like all right let's play okay it was the squirrel nest earthcraft combo deck and he wiped the floor with me and my brothers Wait, squirrel. Wait, sorry. What was it? Squirrel nest and Earthcraft. Okay, so Earthcraft is uh, you can tap um, a creature to untap a land, basically. Okay. So the squirrel nest, you tap the land to make a creature. Infinite combo. Million squirrels. So. Yeah. And then and then you played, um, like a, oh, what's, you just. Play like I don't know, like virulent plague or something like you know all all creature tokens get minus two minus something, two. Something yeah. Uh, at the time that that card wasn't yeah a that thing. that wasn't a thing. Well, it's, they had or you guess you could have like pestilence. Oh pestilence! Oh yeah, that was my older brother. He had a pestilence deck. It was annoying because uh, what did he he had pestilence with uh, like crypt rats? No it was, no crypt rats wasn't out at the time. It was oh um, really yeah it was uh, a like dredge, or... dredge dredge skeletons. The Kurtrats was like visions. Yeah, we're like talking pestilence. One. We're talking like early. Yeah, you're talking about like revised. Yeah. Um, before that, it was a uh, pestilence. I think was first printed. This is like old. Maybe it was Nexus. first printed in. No, I don't remember. 
Yeah, drudge skeletons. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, see? <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I'm just giving up there. So we got Blood Sun, Cinder Vines. Oh, God. Yeah, so my, my brother's Pestilence deck, yeah. First turn, Dark Ritual, Hypnotic Specter, go. <laughs> yeah. Scoop. <laughs> Screw your deck. Yeah, Dark Ritual was busted. I liked Royal Assassin myself. Oh, Royal Assassin? Yeah, that's a good card. Will o Wisp. Oh, man, bringing back memories. But uh, Royal Assassin was a really good card back then. Oops. You know, back when there wasn't much to do other than, oh, I can't attack because he just taps his dude to kill me. I think I want Sheltering Light to to protect against Blast Zone. Wait, Sheltering Light does protect? Yeah, okay. Because, yeah, the indestructible part. Mm -hmm. First and deck was Liliana's. Gideon can, like, minus six and get rid of stuff. This is Boot. I right, am now right referred to as non Todd. With guest Boot. <laughs> I am non Todd for the rest of this stream. <laughs> I'll keep that Cinder Vines right there. Thank you. Let's see, my younger brother, he played. Um, he got really heavy into it, uh, Urza's Destiny. Hmm. And Opposition, if you remember that card. Oh, yeah. Opposition was broken. Ugh. Wow, that's broken. Dude, how, how great would it be if they just had opposition and standard again? <laughs> just tap all their lands up with Sahili? All the time. Think about it. With Sahili? Oh, uh. yeah. Oh, that'd be great. So, leading with Gideon, so we can start ticking up so the minus six yeah, can, can exile these permanents. The, the rocket launcher deck. Oh, that's good. Uh, if anyone remembers, also during uh, Urza's Saga, the uh, the Time Spiral decks that came out during that turn with, like, Tolarian Academy. That was a good time. The Cloud of Fairies. Yeah. Fun times. <laughs> That's You're talking about uh, Corset 2021, right? Cloud of Teferis? Cloud of Teferis. <laughs> I love it. It's going to be a new card. Well, I mean, you know you have to make a deck now. With Throne of Eldraine <laughs> that has Teferi and fairies. Prepare for the battle. fairies of Teferi. There we go. Uh, Tempest and Ursus block. Yeah, Tempest was a good time. I enjoyed that. Five men beta specters. Ooh. Squirrel opposition. Yes, yes it was. Oh, yeah. Wow, Bouncing Feather. Not so Gideon. Fun. That's pretty callous. Not Gideon. They're not not resetting the Gideon loyalty there. It's a uh, next level. I guess they have another one. So they have four cards no, in Graveyard. Not. Okay. Mm. I don't think they can fill it up before you can Cindervine. I feel like it's either going to be Feather or Spellbreaker. I think so. I mean, I want to start casting these Defiant Strikes so I can cycle through my deck. I want to draw cards. I mean, they're going to block when you attack, right? Yeah. So Them I could just ambush that thing. True. And Defiant Strike. Yeah, but that's like kind of a waste of, without Feather, you know? We don't, we don't need to like try to play a long value game against Nexus. We have to kill them. Okay. I mean, I'm not against it. So I'm gonna, I mean, this kind of I puts them you. down pretty low. Seven spells and they die? All right, deal. Oh, no! But now I have, like, the, the mana up to sacrifice Cinder Vines if they destroy Cinder Vines. Oh, also you can Gideon. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's my plan to get rid of the Escanta okay. next turn was the minus six nice, with Gideon. Nice. I, I'm digging it. Vintage Mono Black. Ooh. 
Oh, Mirage was great. Visions, Weatherlight, all good. Lots of flavor. Uh, fun fact, Teferi is actually uh, from, you know, Jamura, which was part of the Visions uh, Mirage block. Good triumphs this day. Uh, let's see. So Jamur was like the continent. He was from uh, Zalfir. And it was actually during the Phyrexian invasion that he phased it out of time. And it cost him his spark. But he saved saved Zalfir from the Phyrexians. Zalfir. Alright, well that was pretty good. <laughs> we didn't used to hate him back then. Yeah, true that. Oh, Necropotence. Oh, God, I remember that. Those cards were busted. All right, game three on the draw versus Nexus. This will be the tough one. Uh, Teferi's Puzzle Box, actually. And, uh, yes. Yeah. Teferi's Puzzle Box. Uh, I, I remember that card now. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. Fun fact, that with uh, Narset is hilarious. Okay. We have each player's draw step. That player puts the top... The puts the cards in their hand on the bottom of their library in any order, then draws that many cards. <laughs> what is your favorite set, and why is it Mercadian Masks? Uh, because Rebels. Just, yeah, there's some cool Rebel Rebels. Rebels. <laughs> I like a Merfolk Rebel that, you know, would go find other Rebels I liked in my Merfolk deck. Or maybe we'd go find other Merfolk. I don't remember. One of those two. It was like, you know, some Hunter card. Okay. Like whenever I was a kid and had, had a deck. Some It was like, you know, one of those blue... Or hunters? Is that what we're saying? Are they mercenaries? I think, so. I think they're mercenaries. I think they're, yeah, mercenaries, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just land it. Do it. Slam this. Just land it. Was it better to get, like, more damage in with, like, these things? I mean, possibly. Yeah, I think, like, this may hit harder. Okay. I just feel like that just gets bounced. I guess Cindervine can bounce up since they take a damage, right? You don't think that Cindervine has, like, proper ID? Mm, I don't think it does. It's just gonna I get. I think it's a little underage. Yeah, the bouncer is not gonna let it in. No. Hmm. Oh, Ristic Study. Yeah. Um, that's a great card in Commander. Uh, very partial alliance. You just like the fact that there's like three cards that came out of alliances that were any good. Gideon Jura. Um, at your one service. of them being. You know, you Force of Will, strength. obviously. Uh, Diminishing Returns was a fun one. Looks like Vanguard skewered that bouncer. Lin <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mears? No, I do not want Lin Mears to come back. That was terrible. Lord of Tressorhorn, of course. Um, mm -hmm. Diabolic Vision came out of Alliances. That was, or was that Ice Age? I think that's Alliances. Your light will cleave the darkness. Lake of the Dead. Yeah, that's a good one. So I want to attack first. Like, if they, if I cast the Cinder Vines, maybe they just like fog in response. Okay. So. Crushing them, I like it. Oh, the Trilance. Oh, Arcane Denial. Okay. Because maybe they're like, oh no, Cinder Vines, I can't take too much damage. I got a fog. But now we have the Cinder Vines out. Okay, uh, down to nine. I like it. Every point matters. I mean, they take two from the Vines, so technically they're at seven. Yeah. Well, they, they could have Blink of an Eye, though. Like, if I sack Vines to try to kill this thing, they Blink of an Eye it. Not if you attack first. But, yeah, they they got to have Fog, right? I would assume so. That's, like, all they can have. So I think I can Defiant Strike. Oh, yeah. We can just do this. I just want to cycle. Use my mana. Paltuvian Hordes. I really wanted a, another land. Uh, so what happened with Mirari? Okay. So, um, the Mirari, it ended up 
in uh, Kamal actually took it to the um, Orin Forest, I think it was called, and planted it in the body of Laquatus and left it there. What happened is that uh, the Marari made its way uh, to Mirrodin. And from there, Memnarch was born from the Marari. Uh, basically, the Marari was a probe sent out by Karn, the Planeswalker, to you know various planes. And um, so Memnarch created Mirrodin in the image of Karn, uh, where it was all metallic. Now, the problem is, is that um, the Curse of Flesh had infected, and what it was, it was basically Phyrexian oil. And uh, that's what caused uh, some life forms to actually you know, lose the metallic skin. And uh, that's where you get the Scars of Mirrodin, mm. Mirrodin Besiege and all that, because Karn went back to check on his world that he made. Right. And Hooray. he tracked the Phyrexian oil back with him. And it corrupted the plane. So that's how the Phyrexians got there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I was I went with the Blood Sun there. Um, so you know I had the options of of like Gideon minus six to get rid of that that as Canted. But I went with the Blood Sun, so there as Canted didn't do anything. Um, oh, come but on, I was really hoping to draw that fourth land to be able to keep the Cinder Vines activation up. Like we could have technically still lost, but our opponent would have had to have a crazy hand, but we didn't. Anyway, there you go, Kendis. Six and, or sorry, four and one. We are on to the final boss. Oh, this is so good. This deck is great. Here we go. Final boss time. Let's go. Let's go. Four yeah, because, one. yeah, exactly. Everything that happened was because Karn forgot to wipe his feet. <laughs> uh, so, in, in the mirrored, in, or in Scars of Mirrored, and now, right, so. and now it's just, now it's just ran over by Phyrexian. Yes. It's not so, even so what happens? Uh, Karn was uh, uh, corrupted by the oil as well a little bit. That's how you saw him in some cards. He was basically imprisoned by the Praetors, and uh, it was actually Venser who gave up his spark to allow Karn to be purified. So Venser died. Koth wasn't happy. Koth is still there fighting, uh, and you know Karn is what you see in the cards today because of it. The Field of the Dead. It's probably fine. Oh yeah, it's fine. We good. Uh, don't know if Indestructible is that important against the blue-green Field of the Dead deck. Is that... that's only six? Okay. Well, I guess if they have one in hand. No, they already played... All right, I need you to go to town on their face. Okay. Don't want Arcanist. Pump spell. Um, I kind of need more mana. I think you'll dig into it. I think you can pass that one up. Yeah. God's willing would be nice for the pro black. Decent start. I think a God's Willing here should somewhat seal the deal, maybe? Yeah, because like God's Willing giving Pro Black be tough for them to to deal with. <clears throat> I assume they get a Arch of Araska here. Or probably maybe just another field of the dead. Or no. Oh. So Yeah, they, if they got another field that wasn't enough to actually trigger it. Oh right, okay. Well, they could have had their land drop still, right? So they could have got another field and then land drop? Like I guess that's two no, that's either true. way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they just did that terrible. Hmm. I mean, that's good for us. They could have got, what, another two zombies out of this? Stop on their main phase. Grow the Legionnaire. Or, or yeah, God's willing. Is 
So we've got to kill Golos. Oh, uh, no. All these feathers. I should have done that. I guess. You can still kill the Golos. Yeah. So could have done that upkeep. Let's just attack in. Yeah. Let's just attack in. Okay. Hey, Chief Seth, what's up? Hey, yo. Uh, that's not how I wanted my opponent to block. Yeah, I mean, what, that's exactly how they were going to block, though. Uh, you can still shock one and, and be fine. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're still going to shock one and be fine. Okay. Ooh, another break. Can I Reckless Rage one and be fine? Um, yeah. Do I just Reckless Rage the... You could, because it gets plus one, right? I just Reckless ra Rage the Feather. Okay. Yeah, that should do it. Save your shock. Okay. We cleared the board. Still looking for the God's Willing. Yep. Yeah. Still having multiple removal spells helps. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Chief Seth. Um, yeah, it's possible people threw away bazaars of Baghdads back then. I mean, people just kind of throw away cards. It's just kind of a thing that happens. I should have discarded like Vanguard or Lieutenant, not Feather. Man, I hate that this deck has time wipe. Yeah, I know. So busted. Okay, uh, flood the board, I assume. Yeah, I think we just play two blockers. Hmm. And that's a good card, but we kind of need mana. Yeah, he's still looking for God's Willing 2 to close us out. Yeah, I think at this point, if it's not mana or God's Willing, you just ditch it. Because you have the rest of the pieces in your hand. Yeah. I'll be right back. Use that. Racist. That card's really big. Ugh, this is going to be a difficult game to win. Gonna be a really difficult game to win. I mean, if they have any removal, I I die. Yeah, basically anything, I'm dead. Just didn't have. Oh, that kills me. Oh. Didn't have enough mana to play spells. Yikes. And obviously the time wipe got us. All right, Blood Suns. I don't know. Yeah, let's get Sheltering Light in here for sure. I, I bought them to Sheltering Light at the very beginning of that game too because I was like, they're not going to be in indestructible stuff and then or like you know indestructible is not going to matter and then time wipe <laughs> i don't know if we really need clarion uh i'm just trying to race them huh Guess we definitely don't win the long game think we should play clarion i don't think so I don't like Adanto Vanguard. I don't like Shock. I don't really love if you Thorn don't... Lieutenant either. I mean, I guess we could play Clarion instead of Thorn Lieutenant. Yeah, okay then. Yeah, if you don't have anything we don't, else to fill, we, then yeah, that's fine. We don't have very many creatures, though, with this. 
What's that knock us down to? That's 10. 10 creatures? Oh, 14. God. 14. 14. We got 12. Plus the oh, the Dread Horde. Yeah, I missed it. Okay. Yeah, we got 14. But really all we need is like, you know, one, maybe two. Okay, well, um... Do I play... Looks good? <laughs> do I play Gideon? Because Gideon's fine. Like, Gideon's good. Gideon's probably better than Spellbreaker. Like, doesn't die to Time Wipe. Okay, yeah. But then... Let's get this extra Spellbreaker in here instead of, like, a Dom re like one of the Domri's ambushes. I know that's a lot of threes, though. But just get a okay. 15th creature in here. Yeah, one, one more creature. Bless you. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye, you just need. You want to come up here? No? You just want to sit there? <laughs> Red, oh, white. Word. Man, this hand would be great if we had oh, good geez, mana. Is... Huh. I don't want to keep that mana. And plus, like, when we have Blood Sun in the deck also, I wanted to see if we could hit Blood Sun. That makes sense. Hey, buddy. Okay. I can just drop feather on three pretty I feel safely, like you can, right? Yeah, I think you can. Pretty sure we can. Yeah, should be able to. Defiant strikes. But oh come on. I mean, it's not like you can protect against that anyways. Yeah, yeah would have just been able to cycle the strikes. Ugh. Oh well. I don't really regret playing it. It's basically like Baffling End and Devout Decree, or yeah. like sideboard cards they could have there. That's a pretty, pretty perfect hand though. You know, having Field of the Dead in hand, that two-man uh, removal on Securitas Route. I love how route. consistent that deck is, honestly. Gross. Yeah, the deck is just so consistent. It's ridiculous. Well, uh. I, I tried mulliganing, seeing if we found Blood Sun. <laughs> we did not. We could still draw, like, Blood Sun into two-drop. I mean, Bloodstone does, like, stop the bleeding, so to speak. Yeah. But then we just have to deal with what's on the board at that point. Yeah, which they don't have very much on the board. Never mind, they got a lot. Ooh, bounce the baffling end. Bounce the baffling end. Bounce the... Stand by and watch. <laughs> okay, we're just going to keep drawing lands today. Okay, that's something. Can at least uh, Reckless Rage something, I guess? Yeah, this card's so terrible against Teferi. Yeah, it is. So terrible against Teferi. Huh. That's a better card. Can you... do both? Okay. I mean, I can't really attack or anything. No. I can just play him. Just have him out in play. Hey, buddy. Hi. The fairy shuts my deck down too. As we saw, like our loss, we really struggled against the fairy. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I haven't really seen like any sort of um, strat or, or any new cards that fight Field of the Dead. I know, I've been like really it. disappointed with that. That's like the main thing that... I mean, they're only at how many cards pulled right now? Because I've talked about before how worst case scenario for Wizards is that we go to the next set and like there's rotation, we go to the next set and, ev and everything and then... Mm -hmm. Um, everybody's excited to play with the new cards, and then 
and then uh, all, all it is is all it is is just these like five color to fairy field of the dead decks. Yeah. Still. Because uh, yeah, like not much is rotating, you know. So only, basically, just like rejuvenator and nexus from from our opponent's deck, but like. They can standard be standard's gonna get yeah they can definitely be replaced. I mean, they're gonna get slowed down. Yeah, standard's gonna be a lot worse than it than it is right now because when you just when you go from eight sets to five sets it is, and not having like having no blood sun in the format at all, it just upgrades the deck. Yeah, like I said, it does slow it down like one turn, but it's still stupid consistent. So what are you gonna do? Right. You know. Right. All right, well, there's Naya Feather. You're trying to go under it, I guess. Um, looked like, I guess, couple, you know, got got really punished for playing out our creature a couple of times there. I mean, I, I, I did go with the Feather turn three. I don't really regret it, but, you know, maybe if we don't play Feather on turn three, we have a better shot. But honestly, for all the, like, the cards that we saw that we were going to be drawing there and the cards that my opponent had did not look like we were going to be winning that game at all and then yeah we lost our other match because we didn't have creatures i mean that just that just happens sometimes with this deck i just say i wasn't thoroughly impressed with thorn lieutenant as it as a creature there but it is it is kind of just like for the aggro matchups it really thorn lieutenant really did help us win our first match against mono red cavalcade so that's really what like the thorn lieutenants are in there for uh to help in th with that kind of stuff um but uh no, there, there's, there's no blood sun's not getting reprinted. That's not, that's not going to be a thing, because there's not going to be a, a blood sun on Eldraine, basically. But there was like a blood sun on Ixalan, but that's so that's not a card they'll be reprinted. Hey, Hookus, GG's there. Nice deck, GG's. Mm. Um, but yeah, like I really like the season of growth was was definitely really good. Whenever we had so creatures, good. jeez. Um, Domri's Ambush was pretty awesome also. I really like those. But, yeah, Danto Vanguard, Spellbreaker, Lieutenant, those three cards are not really that good. So it's really like trying to find the best creatures that this deck can be playing. And I guess that's that's what we have. But none of them are really that special. Like Arcanist, Legionnaire, Feather, those are no doubters. Just trying to kind of pair those together. I have been a little bit more impressed with um what's the what's the Cranko? There you go. That's Cranko? yeah, Cranko. I was thinking like kept this at first, but no, Cranko. Been a little bit more impressed with that car with Cranko. Just because you, you can pump it up? Yeah, because you especially with like the Domri's ambush, like being able to pump it up and okay. uh if you can protect it, keep it alive and get to attack Interesting. with it. Um liked that card before, but But oh well, there we go. Alright, so that's Naya Feather. So if you're watching later on YouTube, uh, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And also, sorry, it looks like the Sultai Arcbow just isn't going to be able to be uploaded, so I apologize about that. It looks like how it got cut short with the computer crashing. The video was damaged. The recording was damaged, so it's not uploading, unfortunately. Um, but uh, oh, there's a 3-mana 2-2 two -two red creature that's similar yeah okay yeah it's similar to legionnaire but it doesn't have haste either yeah i don't i know what you're talking about like uh i think it's maybe like spellbreaker weird or something like that for the name don't love that creature either i think i'd rather have Cranko there um i actually kind of like war boss in this deck also but spell gorger weird that okay. that's the name of that card but anyway uh yeah don't forget to leave comments and everything as well but thanks for watching. Yeah, let let me know what you like for like those creatures. Like if you if you play Naya Feather, let me know. Um, for those slots, Adanto Vanguard, Thorn Lieutenant, Spellbreaker, like what do you do with those kind of slots? What creatures do you like there? But there we go. So thanks so much for watching. Naya Feather, and I'll see you for the next video.